Have you ever seen an ugly dog that was endearing? Few dogs stand out for having an unusual appearance. We introduce 15 of the most unusual looking, ugly dog breeds in this list. All breeds and sizes of dogs enrich our lives in an immeasurable and priceless way. Our pets make us feel at home and are constantly making us laugh with their cute antics. All dogs are adorable and lovable, but some breeds are more well known for their looks than others. There is a sizable list of dogs that are regarded as cute, but what about dogs that fall on the other end of the cuteness spectrum? We're discussing unsightly canines. Occasionally, ugly dog breeds have extraordinary looks, and their distinctive looks add to their allure. Although everyone is aware that beauty is subjective, some dog breeds are more well-known than others for their distinctive and unusual looks. Frequently, what one dog owner finds cute may not be at all cute to another person. There are many dog breeds that have oddly shaped bodies, large ears, wildly curly tails, and smushed faces. Some canines are even well known for their ugliness. A dog's charm and personality can be given more volume by a quirky appearance. Some dogs have a reputation for being ugly. We learn about 15 of the most unsightly dog breeds in this article. Do not be fooled by their lack of conventional beauty. While some of these ugly dogs are incredibly lovable and remarkably well-liked, others are incredibly rare and difficult to find. Specifications of ugly dogs. What, then, qualifies a dog as ugly? Well, some pups stand out as being particularly unattractive due to a few distinctive characteristics. These include wrinkled skin, lack of hair, long, shaggy hair, short legs, oddly shaped bodies, underbites, overbites, and droopy faces. A few of these breeds have also been bred to have odd sizes or shapes, which can also make them look unattractive. Nevertheless, some people favor these peculiarly shaped dogs. Some of the breeds that are most frequently referred to as ugly are described below. These have been arranged alphabetically. As a reminder, regardless of whether they fit a particular definition of cute or ugly, all dogs deserve to be loved, treated with kindness, and given the best care. Often pincher. The faces of often pinchers have been compared to those of monkeys by some people. This tiny German dog is also known as a monkey terrier, despite not being a terrier. When fully grown, these pups weigh only 7 to 13 pounds and stand about 12 inches tall. They have grizzled faces and wiry, rugged coats. These tiny creatures are hardy, active, and brave. Often pinchers make wonderful family pets and highly effective watchdogs despite their independent personalities. They are still small but fearless. This breed was developed in Germany and was widely used as ratters, making them common in residences, farms, and retail establishments. The tiny dog eventually gained popularity as a pet for wealthy women. These days, it's hard to find a pup like this. The Offenpincher requires a lot of upkeep as well. Their unique coat texture necessitates additional care in addition to routine brushing. They get along well with kids, but dislike being handled roughly or being overstimulated. Bedlington Terrier Some people say that Bedlington Terrier dogs resemble lambs. The Bedlington Terrier has a remarkably peculiar appearance. With tufted, pear-shaped heads, curly coats, arched backs, tasseled ears, and tiny eyes, this dog almost looks more alien than canine. They are intelligent, active, and agile little dogs that were originally bred in Bedlington, England. They weigh between 17 and 23 pounds, and their height ranges from 15 to 7 and a half inches. An average lifespan of 11 to 16 years can be expected for this breed. This canine, which has a medium to high level of energy, requires a lot of mental and physical stimulation. The fact that this breed doesn't shed is a perk. The Bidlington Terrier is an energetic, brave, and quite stubborn dog. These guys are also fun, fiercely loyal, and friendly with both children and strangers. They do not get along as well with small animals like cats or other canines. Bergamasco Sheepdog The distinctive, dreadlock-like coat of Bergamasco Sheepdogs is what makes them unique. The Bergamasco Sheepdog puppy has a remarkably peculiar appearance. 
This breed's typical matted appearance has a specific function. These mats offer safety, assist in temperature regulation, and shield their bodies from chilly and wet conditions. Over the course of the dog's lifetime, dense, thick mats made of three different types of hair will continue to develop. They can weigh between 55 and 85 pounds and become fairly substantial in size. These full-grown puppies have a height of 20 to 24 inches and a lifespan of 13 to 15 years. The Middle East is where the breed first appeared around 7,000 years ago. The breed was historically created so that shepherds could use them as guards and herders. Other names for them include Bergamo Shepherd Dog, Bergamese Shepherd, and Cane de Pastor Bergamasco. They are extremely intelligent. These shepherds may have made the list of ugly breeds, but they are incredibly affectionate and get along great with kids, strangers, and other dogs. Despite their impressive coats, taking care of them is not as difficult as one might believe. Brussels Griffin. These adorable little puffballs make much better pets today than they do workers. Another small but powerful breed is the Brussels Griffin. These tiny puppies weigh between 8 and 10 pounds and are between 7 and 10 inches tall. They are expected to live for 12 to 15 years, which is a very long time. These dogs originated in Belgium, where they served as ratters and stable hands. Due to their distinctive expression and adorably ugly faces, this pup makes the list. These tiny puppies have a distinctive beard on their broad, rounded faces with prominent forehead domes. They appear defiant and a little grumpy because of their undershot jaw. This breed can have a silky, smooth, or dense, wiry coat. This dog has the appearance of an older adult looking for a fight thanks to their distinctively bearded faces and short floppy ears. Chinese Crested The Chinese Crested is very distinctive in appearance. A small dog breed known as the Chinese Crested has long, flowing hair on its head and feet. Due to its unique appearance, the breed is frequently referred to as the ugliest dog. Cresties are renowned for being affable and outgoing people. This is one of those adorable, occasionally ugly bark babies. When fully grown, they only weigh 8 to 12 pounds and are between 11 and 13 inches tall. With the exception of striking hair tufts on their paws, tails, and crests, these dogs are hairless. They look like tiny punk rockers. One variety has long, silky hair and is known as the Powder Puff Crestie. Additionally, Chinese Cresteds have elongated heads, wide set, very large, pointy ears, almond-shaped eyes, narrow noses, and flat cheeks. Their skin can have various spots and patterns in addition to a variety of coat colors. Although this breed frequently tops lists of the ugliest dogs, it makes a fantastic pet. They are regarded as clingy or velcro dogs, adore their owners, and insist on always being the center of attention. Because of their high level of sensitivity, Cresties make excellent therapy dogs. English Bull Terrier English Bull Terriers have a reputation for being a pet star breed. Bull Terriers are included on this list due to their unique egg-shaped heads. These bullies stand out from the crowd thanks to their long faces, short, pointy ears, and small, piercing eyes. Bull Terriers can be found in both small and large sizes. The miniature weighs between 25 and 35 pounds, whereas the standard size weighs between 50 and 70 pounds. Both have heads that are distinctively oval, giving off a very distinct facial profile. Bull Terriers have a variety of appearances depending on how you view them. The tops of their skulls are completely flat when viewed from a particular angle. No other dog resembles the Bull Terrier more than others, we can say with certainty. In fact, this dog is well known for its distinctive appearance and has served as the mascot for the Target retail chain and Bud Light beer in advertisements. Bull Terriers are extremely affectionate and gentle. They make wonderful family pets and get along well with kids. Bull Terriers have a reputation for being very mischievous, earning the moniker Class Clowns. Epignol Pontotomer This uncommon French gun dog has an incredibly distinctive appearance, which has earned it a spot on our list. The breed originated from various water spaniel lines in the 19th century. These guys have never existed in great numbers. 
These guys are still hard to come by and rare. When fully grown, these medium-sized dogs weigh between 44 and 60 pounds. Although very skilled retrievers, this dog has a very unique appearance. According to some, this dog appears to be sporting a curly wig. These puppies have a deep chest and are strong and muscular. They have longer, rounder shaped ears and heads and tails covered in curly hair. Their shorter, straight hair maintains their smooth faces. Most members of this breed have long, low-set ears, small, sunken eyes, and an inquisitive, kind expression on their faces. Griffin Nivernet. Due to their unkempt appearance, the Griffin Nivernet is included on the list of ugly dogs. This medium-sized puppy weighs between 45 and 55 pounds when fully grown and is a member of the hound family. The height of a Griffin Nivernet ranges from 20 to 25 inches. They have a 10 to 14 year lifespan. The Griffin Nivernet is renowned for being affectionate with family and close friends, but shy around unfamiliar people. This dog can be quite vocal and is also quite stubborn. Additionally, this dog enjoys barking and has a lot of energy. The history of the Griffin Nivernet dates back to the 1200s in France. Similar scent hounds were used as hunting partners and guardians of property. The lion was once believed to have completely disappeared, but it came back in the early 1900s. This dog breed is extremely rare and hardly ever seen outside of France. These puppies have long heads, dropped ears, shaggy coats, and extremely bushy eyebrows. They look very unkempt and disheveled due to their wiry coats. Hairless Kala Peruvian hairless dogs is another name for hairless collas. This intriguing-looking dog, also called a pila, originated in Latin America. They are a small to medium-sized breed, growing to weigh 15 to 30 pounds and a height of 14 to 20 inches. In that they are hairless and have a fur crest on top of their heads, this dog resembles the Chinese crested in appearance. This tuft of hair is accompanied by short necks and large, pointed ears. Kala, which means without clothes, perfectly describes how these puppies appear. The hairless Kala has a distinctive glossy appearance like many other hairless dogs. They are moderately simple to train and can be found in a variety of colors. Despite the fact that they enjoy playing and are very low in aggression, they make terrible guardians. Outside of Latin America, this dog is extremely difficult to locate. Hairless Terrier American hairless terriers are attractive and excellent for allergy sufferers. Rat Terriers are a breed that includes hairless terriers. These pups are a naturally occurring breed of hairless dog. In Louisiana in 1972, a litter of normally haired rat terrier puppies produced the first hairless pup. Four litters of hairless offspring were produced as a result of breeding with additional hairless puppies that were later born. One of the few truly hairless dogs is the American Hairless Terrier. Because these puppies have no hair and can become very cold very quickly, they must be kept inside. They stand between 12 and 16 inches tall and weigh between 12 and 16 pounds. They are expected to live for 14 to 16 years, which is a fairly long lifespan. This breed is very interactive with young children and incredibly affectionate with family. Additionally, they get along with other dogs okay. This breed is capable of having eyebrows, whiskers, and warm, soft skin. They have small, extremely dramatic eyes and wide, wedge-shaped heads with pointed V-shaped ears. Commodore The Commodore, with their extremely distinctive mop-like appearance, makes the list of the ugliest dogs. The Hungarian Sheepdog is another name for the Commodore. They are Hungarian working and protection dogs. These dogs were initially bred for use as flock and livestock herders and guard dogs. Even today, they still enjoy guarding their human flock. These dogs are not small, they can weigh between 80 and 120 pounds. In reality, they are incredibly quick and energetic. They have almond-shaped ears, long, slightly rounded ears, and black noses. They resemble a sizable, moving mop head. This is because of a coat with tassels that resemble dreadlocks. When these shaggy puppies move, it might be difficult to distinguish the front end from the back end because it seems like they have no vision. 
Commodore puppies are uncommon and only come in white. Meeting one of these eccentric looking Fidos will stick in one's memory. Neapolitan Mastiff. Our list of the ugliest breeds includes Neapolitan Mastiffs because of their horribly wrinkled faces. When fully grown, the Neapolitan Mastiff weighs anywhere from 110 to 150 pounds. They range in height from 24 to 31 inches. Their huge heads are literally covered in folds of skin. These enormous dogs, sometimes referred to as gentle giants, are actually quite gentle despite their enormous size and unusual appearance. Mastiff-like dogs originated in southern Italy, but they have existed for a very, very long time. Some Mastiffs have even been found in historical Tibet, where they were used as temple guardians. The Neo or Mastino are other names for this enormous breed. These puppies won't fare well in cramped spaces because they are rather docile and also quite clumsy. Due to the numerous wrinkles on their faces, they also drool quite a bit. The solid colors of these behemoths include gray, mahogany, black, tawny, and tan brindle. Anyone can make a great family dog, but because of their size, they should always be under adult supervision when around young children. While they may get along with other animals, they do best in homes with older children and do not get along well with pets who do not reside in the same home. Pulley While a Commodore only comes in white, these puppies are available in black, rusty black, gray, and white. Due to their similar appearance, the Commodore and Pulley are frequently confused. Both dogs are sheepdogs from Hungary. A pulley weighs between 25 and 35 pounds, which is a little less. They have curly, corded coats that resemble dreadlocks. Their coats have a wool-like texture. Sometimes it can be difficult to tell if these guys are coming or going due to the way their tails curl up. These puppies almost have a puppet or muppet appearance. The pulleys are herders who are extremely intelligent and cunning. Although fiercely devoted and capable of trying to herd their people to keep them safe, they make excellent family pets. This can occasionally result in undesirable behaviors like biting and barking. This pup might be for you if you're in the mood for a shaggy, woolly-haired, flop-top with an odd appearance. Sharpe. Sharpays are relatively small and have thick, wrinkly skin covering their heads, necks, and shoulders. This dog breed is frequently compared to a hippopotamus in appearance. Medium-sized to large dogs, Sharpays typically weigh between 45 and 60 pounds. They have square, stocky bodies and would appear to be excessively large heads. This breed is renowned for having a distinctive bluish-black tongue and is covered in wrinkly folds of skin all over their body. They have small, triangular-shaped ears and wide muzzles. Because of the loose skin that hangs over their faces, these puppies frequently have a scowl or a grumpy expression. Despite their gloomy appearance, Sharpays are calm, low-energy dogs that get along well with people. They can become aggressive, do not get along well with other dogs, and have a stubborn streak. Although this breed is not flat-faced, it is thought to be brachycephalic, which means that it needs to be closely watched when exercising. If they exert themselves too much, the shorter noses and folds of skin could lead to breathing issues. Zolitsquintly Dogs from the Zolitsquintly tribe are quite expensive and have a lot of energy. The Zolitsquintly, also known as the Mexican hairless, is available in two varieties, coated and hairless. Toy miniature, standard, and other sizes are available for each variety. Toys typically weigh 10 to 15 pounds, miniatures weigh 15 to 30 pounds, and standards can weigh up to 55 pounds. These dogs are thought to have descended from ancient Aztec and Mayan creatures. The Aztec god of fire, Zolo, inspired the breed's name. The coated variety is less frequent than the hairless variety, which also has a more peculiar appearance. The tops of the heads, feet, and tails of the hairless have smooth, thick skin, and some of their hair is short. This dog is available in a variety of hues, including solid or spotted black, gray, slate, brindle, bronze, fawn, and red. These puppies have broad heads, almond-shaped eyes, and are quite smooth. They have very supple skin and prominent, pointed ears. 
Due to forehead wrinkles that give them an inquisitive, introspective appearance, the Zolo frequently give off the impression that they are deep thinkers. Honorable Mention All purebred dogs are included in the list of ugly dogs above, but some of the cutest puppies are mixed breeds. This One in particular merits consideration and a mention. French Bulldog Crested Chinese Mix Every time they enter a room, these puppies will be the center of attention. The Chinese Crested Frenchie, also known as a French Bulldog Crested Chinese Mix, is an exceptionally handsome canine. Imagine a hairless Frenchie with a tuft of hair, a snub nose, large, round eyes, a long, tufted tail, spiky ears, and a face that is a little smooshed in. Being a mixed breed, there is always some uncertainty regarding this pup's size and appearance. A Chinese crested Frenchie weighs only 10 to 12 pounds, making it a smaller dog. They can live for at least 10 to 14 years. The majority are playful, animated, and loving but cautious of strangers and quick to alert you when something odd or novel is happening. Why do owners keep disgusting dogs? Many people still decide to keep these noticeably different-looking dogs as pets despite their unusual appearance. Why do people keep them, then? The fact that these breeds are frequently incredibly devoted and loving companions is one of the main reasons. These puppies are distinctive and special, so some people choose to keep them. Although these dogs might not be viewed as cute or beautiful in the conventional sense, they frequently possess a special allure and beauty. It's important to be aware of any potential health issues even though these ugly dog breeds can make wonderful companions. Numerous of these dogs are predisposed to particular health issues, including breathing, joint, and eye conditions. Some of these breeds are also known for having delicate skin, especially hairless ones, so it is important to maintain their grooming and provide them with sun protection. Goodbye canine friends, see you in another interesting video.